3.7 absolute value equations and inequalities. This is MA.912.AR.4.2. We're going to solve absolute value equations, solve absolute value inequalities, and solve real life problems involving absolute value. So this is piggybacking off module two content that we learned previously and module three. So only the difference is that we're adding the absolute values. So it says absolute value of X equals A. When you see something like this, it means you have X equal to A and X equal to negative A. So if we look at our example three, it says solve the absolute value of two X minus one, what was the absolute, plus three equals eight. First thing we need to do is isolate because we wanna be in the setup of absolute values only. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna subtract three over. So now we see 2x minus one in absolute values equals five. So now I'm in the setup of absolute bars equaling a positive number. So we have two scenarios that happen. You have 2x minus one equaling positive five and 2x minus one equaling negative five. So we're gonna add one, 2x equals six, divide by two x equals 3. We're going to add 1. 2x equals negative 4. Divide by 2. x equals negative 2. So you have two possibilities. So the next thing you have to do is test them in your original problem. So 2 times 3 is 6. Minus 1 is 5. Absolute value of 5 comes out as positive 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. It works. You plug in negative 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Take a 1, it's negative 5, but it's in bars, so it comes out positive 5 plus 3, equaling 8 again. So our solution set in set builder is going to be negative number first, negative 2, comma, 3. In examples 4 and 5, notice that we have absolute value bars on both sides. So it's going to call, do the same premise. Two situations are going to arise. The first one is going to be 3x minus 4 equaling positive 7x minus 16. But the second one, the left stays at the same, and the right side is put in parentheses with a negative in front. So on the first one, subtract the 7x over. So you get negative 4x minus 4 equaling negative 16. Add 4 over to get negative 4x equaling negative 12. Divide by negative 4, x equals 3. On the second one, you need to distribute first. So we get 3x minus 4 equals negative 7x, positive 16. Then do movement. So I'm going to add 7x over. Get 10x minus 4 equaling positive 16. Add 4 over. 10x equals 20. Divide by 10. x equals 2. When we plug in our numbers, they will work because it's absolute values on both sides. So you can just automatically go to your set builder and we have 2 comma three as our solution points. Other sets of absolute value bars is when you see the absolute value bar less than A. This is known as an and statement. So we're gonna write it as negative A less than X less than A. Or you can have the absolute value of X greater than A. This is our or statements which is means that we have a union symbol involved. This first one means that there's an intersection, they overlap. So we've done situations in the previous where we were given this, now we're doing the absolute value bars again. So in the first one it says example six, solve the absolute value of X minus five less than two. Notice the inequality is eating the number. So this is our and statement. So we're gonna write it as negative two less than x minus five less than two the inside comes out the number on the outside becomes negative on the left positive on the right 
back in the earlier I talked about airplanes and balancing the equation so what we do to the left we must do to the right so I'm adding five in the middle to cancel it out but I need a balance so I both go to both sides so now I see short two found through five I'm three less than the fives cancel leaving you x less than two plus five is seven so if I was looking at a number line I'm gonna say at least zero is about here. Here's three, here's seven, give or take. Notice that these don't have inequality lines underneath it. It just says less than. This, these are open statements. So at three, I have an open circle. At seven, I have an open circle and we are connected between the two. Also, set builder. Set builder says that x where three is less than x less than seven and then we have our interval notation remember when we are open statements we use parentheses parentheses three comma seven close of parentheses example seven says absolute value of three x minus four close is greater than or equal to five which means that this is our four statement so it is exactly as we see it, 3x minus 4 greater than or equal to 5, or 3x minus 4 less than or equal to, we have to flip the inequality and make the 5 negative. So we're going to add 4 over, 3x is greater than or equal to 9, divide by 3, x is greater than or equal to 3 word or comes down. I'm going to add 4 over. 3x is less than or equal to negative 1. Divide by 3. x is less than or equal to negative 1 third. So now the other thing is now look at this. The in, it's greater than or equal to less. So these are closed statements. So if I'm looking at a number line, here's zero. I'm gonna say negative one third is here. Three is around that point. It says all the values of X are greater than or equal to three. So at three, I am closed, but the arrow is going to the right to positive infinity. On the other one says X is less than or equal to negative one third. So I'm closed at negative one third, but the arrow is pointing to negative infinity. So here's our graph line. If we're gonna do interval notation, this is a break in our graph, so that's where your union symbol happens. We're using brackets because we're close. So three to positive infinity with the parentheses, bracket negative one third, negative infinity, close the parentheses. So here is our interval notation. If we are doing set builder, it's X where X is less than or equal to negative one-third or x is greater than or equal to three.